The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, folks. Welcome to the December 30th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past eight o'clock in the morning. That's right. If you're listening to the normal time and it's 1107, thanks so much for doing that. We're going to make today's show as pertinent as we can for you. But if you are listening live, we would love to hear from you. So you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you have a question but you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Send that early. Send that to steve at tfnn.com. And if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question inside that subject heading. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, I got U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. Dow's off about four tenths percent or 131 points. About 1% for the NASDAQ, that's off 105. Six tenths for the S&P, 23 points. The Russell's down 14 points, that's about eight tenths percent to the downside. Over in Asia last night, it was a sea of green. The Shanghai finishing up 16 points, a half a percent. It was basically flat for the Nikkei. Uh, the Hang Seng up 40 points, uh, about a quarter of a percent out there. Over in Europe this morning, the DAX is off 148, a little over 1%, very much like the NASDAQ. You've got the FTSE down 8 tenths percent or 61 points there. Gold is up uh, 60 cents, so it is flat. Silver's off 14 pennies. Platinum's up 13 bucks. Light sweet crude trading out at 78.18. That's down 22 cents. The natural gas off 6 pennies, trading out at 449. The 30 year Treasury down 13 ticks. 125.03 is the print there. Uh, down 7 cents on the 10 year note. That's trading out at 112.07. US dollar index is uh, basically flat. I've got it down 3 pennies. Of course, there is a 10 minute delay on my U.S. dollar chart out there. So <clears throat> where do we begin? First place to begin, uh, I suppose, let's take a look at the NQ. The reason I say the NQ is simply because there is a new profile that did form yesterday. Now, this profile, as you'll see, well, just to simply expand out the chart, maybe you'll see it a little bit easier, this profile forming below the prior profile. So therefore, that's really a bearish message, um, momentum-wise. But still, we have support and resistance levels. Support, 10,823. Resistance, 11,280 to 11,150 out there. It is a bearish structured daily profile. But the real support, because there is a daily TD9 count bottom that completed yesterday, is really going to be the low from two days ago. And that's a key low, and that is at 10,758.75. If price were to close below that, that would be telling us that price should go target the October 13th low. This is in the NQ that we're looking at, and that's down at the 10,595 level. No other new profiles out there to note for the daily equity future contract. You've got the ES Mini, which regained its profile yesterday. So just a bit of a consolidation, a real consolidation inside the Dow equity future contract. And the Russell 2000 also regained its profile after being down below for one single day. That was a one-hit wonder, at least at this stage of the game. So let's continue taking a look at the NQ here. We've got a new profile. We've got a level of support at the 10 a 23 area. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and change over, take a look at my eight panel. Yeah, it's my eight panel, a multi-time frame charts 
for the NQ out here. So we'll get those populated here momentarily up in the upper left. You can see we're down about 1% off 105 points, but now you can see the TD9 count. So you've got resistance up at the uh, top of that uh, and center of that profile, 11,150 to 11,280. You also have at uh, the oscillator and change line, which is red at 11,123. So a lot of resistance up ahead. If we do get a rally, expect or anticipate that that is the price target area. And I'd say that 11,150 range. Now, is it possible that that's what's going to unfold? Well, if we take a look at the five-hour time frame chart, and it's very cool, you know, when, when the, the tools that I use to assist in interpreting what the market is communicating to me, you get to see these each day. They help us to identify support and resistance levels. They give us bottoming and topping patterns, so on and so forth. If we take a look at the uh, NQ for the five-hour time frame, which showed a Rhodes-Mitt indicator signal. It just never confirmed with a bullish reversal candle. Nonetheless, price still went all the way up to its TD9 count breakdown resistance level. That was 11.076. The actual high that took place out here, price got up to 11.071.50. Got to love that. Within five points out there. So that's the real key resistance area. So not only do you have resistance at that 11.150 area, we also know we've got resistance at 11.076. So a lot of resistance on the NQ on any kind of a bounce higher. As we take a look at some of the intraday time charts out, additional intraday time charts, 240, a uh, four-hour time frame chart also showing Rhodes momentum indicator signal, but no bullish reversal candle there to confirm a bottom. The 120-minute chart, prices right now failed at its oscillator and change line. That does open the door for 10.786. The 60-minute time frame chart, um, is just sitting back at support. That's the bottom of its profile. That says watch that 10, 927 area. That seems to be what's holding price as we speak right now. The 30-minute chart negated a uh, buy the D point or a Gartley buy pattern. That formed at 430 this morning when a bullish engulfing candle had formed. Price is now below that level. So price could be targeting 10, 843. The 10 and 15 the minute charts out here have both road. Well, one the 15 minute chart is roads meant to indicator signal. Bar number eight looks like it'll complete here in about um two minutes and uh in about seven minutes a uh, td9 count bottom should form for the 10 minute time frame so ultra short term but still what they're signaling again for their time frames so you should see some type of short-term bottom and some type of bounce some type of bounce that's helpful stevie bounce to where i'd say the 10 950 10 958 area would be the levels that i would be watching we'll come back and take a look at this chart uh, or this uh, set of charts out here on the 10 and 15 minute basis so what what we're not getting here is a very clear picture at least from my standpoint, at this stage here, we're not getting a very clear picture as to how the day is going to uh, play out here. But we'll watch those 10 and 15 minute charts. We'll come back to those maybe in about a half an hour, see if they held up. What we have established, though, and this is helpful, is that there is significant resistance inside the NQ. It's all in that 11, 150 ish area out there, whether we look at the daily, the five hour time frame chart. Uh, and so that's the uh, best set of signals that I can find. If we go over real quickly here before we go to this break, we'll take a quick peek at the U.S. dollar index chart. We'll do that by going back to my black background charts, go to my market update. We take a look at that U.S. dollar index. You can see that right now price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile, 103.64. But the real key level out here because of its TD9 count bottom, that's going to be the low from December 15th. That's at 102.87. Price closed below that. We should see a significant market rally. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's get to a couple of questions that have uh, come in here. We don't want to get behind on uh, those. Let me just clean up the uh, email stream here so I get just to those specifically. The first one is coming in from uh, Alton. Uh, Alton, Happy New Year uh, to you. Let's uh, open up the question. It says, good morning, Steve. I'm looking for a long-term position in EEM. EEM is the emerging uh, markets out there. Uh, and INDA, I-N-D-A. I'm going to assume that that is India. Um, but I can't be certain about that just at this moment. Uh, the question uh, further reads like this. Which one is the better option according to your analysis? Thanks for taking the time. Happy New Year to you and your family. Thanks so much for those wishes out there. So which one is the best one? The first thing, probably neither. But I'll answer your question, which one is the best one? Here's, here's, right, here's the reason why I say neither at this stage, Alton. Uh, what I have up on our screen, let me make sure I'm in the right spot. I am. So I have our correlation chart. Now I have a correlation is taking a uh, is, is correlating two different instruments. In this case here, you've got your emerging market ETF EEM up at the top, and in the center you've got the U.S. dollar index. And below that is the correlation tool. And what this is set as right now is set as a five-day period. And what you can see is the bars that are below zero, which is predominantly the majority of the bars out here, tells us that on a five-day average. There is an inverse directional relationship between emerging markets and the U.S. dollar index. So before you start taking a position, if you want to take a long, what you do, if you want to take a long position in uh, EEM, what you're also saying is that you expect that the U.S. dollar index will fail and will continue to move lower. So if that is your hypothesis, then, then, then for sure. But if that is not your hypothesis, that you expect that the U.S. dollar index will continue to strengthen out there, then this could be a really bad uh, trade. Now, what I can do here as well, and we'll go take a look at the actual stock charts, but I think this is the more compelling and the more important thing for you to take a look at or understand. If we take a look at INDA, and again, I'm assuming that that is uh, India out here, uh, and I've got that same correlation tool. 
So again, we're correlating, yeah, this uh, the India iShares uh, trust out there. So we're correlating that to the US dollar index. You can see as you get to the bottom, they've got a direct inverse relationship. The reason that I bring that up is, is the US dollar index has likely made a significant bottom. I say likely because anything can change out there. The reason that it's likely is, boy, how would I do this? So let me, um, when I ask that question, how would I do this, is because I have to go to my white background charts. I have to change the data feed. I have to close out some charts. So I don't want to really do that during a segment here. Maybe during a break I can get that uh, configured. But th that's we can still take a look at the U.S. dollar index. You'll just have to trust me when I say what I'm going to say. And that is the following on a weekly chart out here. So I've got the daily, monthly, weekly down below. So on a weekly chart, there is a nice TD nine count bottom pattern. And that TD nine count bottom formed the week that began December 12th. And that key level out there is 102.87. So we've got that bottom. We have a buy the D point uh, pattern out here on the uh, formed inside the US dollar index for the daily time frame. And that was on December the uh, 12th out there. We just have price that's been consolidating sideways. There certainly is significant resistance out here. And that significant resistance is the top of the profile. What you can see here, and we're looking at the upper left-hand chart out here, Alton, what we can see out here is price is not closed above the top of a daily profile for quite some time. Quite some time being taken us back to October 21st, 2022. So, Couple of different ways you could you could trade this. You could say, well, Stevie, okay, I see those bottoms, but I also see that price hasn't taken out the top. So if you do, if you if you're in a long position, let's say India EEM, and you see price close above the top of a daily profile for the U.S. dollar index, especially with those bottoms being in place out there, and that close would mean a close above 104.94. That would be telling you that we likely have made the most significant another significant bottom inside the U.S. dollar index, and it has just changed its trend the trend from the retracement stage and that we had higher so we've got a nice bottom pattern on the daily time frame nice bottom pattern on the weekly time frame and guess what when we take a look at the uh, monthly time frame what is price done it's pulled back to test its bullish structured monthly profile at the bottom of that profile 102.66 the uh, low so far for the month 102.87 so another key level of support another key area where a bottom could take place for the u.s dollar index lastly if i take a look at the yearly chart that is on the uh, very bottom here price is above last year's high it is above the high from a couple of years ago it's above highs from quite some time that's a bullish signal so we take a look at if we put the U.S. dollar index now, not that it can't fail. You close below the bottom of that uh, TD9 count on the weekly time frame. Again, that is at 102.87. Then, yeah, then the U.S. dollar index is failing, and, um, and then that would send or likely send EEM and INDA to higher ground. I really caution you on that. Now, you ask the question. Um, and if we take a look at, let's just go take a look at the EEM charts out here. To do that, we're going to go ahead and change our screens. We're going to go to the white background charts. As we move over to those, we take a look at EEM. EEM, what did this uh, generate out here? This actually has a valid TD9 count bottom. What price has done, went right up to resistance. That was its green oscillator and change line. Now, I don't know where EEM is trading in the uh, pre-market uh, right now. Not that I need to, but we can take a quick peek here. If you give me a moment, I'll get over to a different screen. That will let me take a quick peek at that EEM last trade here, firing off at 38.08. So you can see that that oscillator and change line is a key resistance level. Uh, that closed out yesterday at 38.45. A close above that would be a bullish outcome. And that bullish outcome would then suggest to move up to the 39.41 level. But right now, price is just dealing with resistance. That's the daily oscillator and change line. Again, watch that area out there. That could give you at least a rally up to 39.41. You've got a nice TD9 count bottom on the uh, weekly chart. Uh, no bottom pattern. Yeah, no bottom pattern on the uh, monthly time frame. And then, uh, now let's go take a quick peek here at INDA. Your question was, which of the two is the better looking one? So EEM, at least on the daily time frame and weekly, has got a nice bottom signal. Resistance, key resistance being up at that 4007 level. If we take a look at INDA, because of the currency conversions that are going on, you've got all kinds of gaps. It's really hard to trust these candles and interpret them. Um, so that's not helpful to us. Um, so I, I hesitate to call, you know, a buy the D point bottom pattern out there because of the hammer candle that formed three or four days ago. Um, 
So I, I would go like this. I'd answer your question this way, Alton. EEM. But you would have to tie my hands up, my feet up, and everything to take me into a intermediate-term, long-term position inside of emerging markets, knowing that very likely we have seen the low for the U.S. dollar index for 2023. And we're not even in 2023 just yet, but we will be come next Tuesday. So thanks so much for the uh, question out there. The next question coming in from SNP, who wants to take a look at uh, DocuSign. So we'll get those charts fired up on our screen here right now as we speak. Now, I'm having a slight problem. I've got the, uh, is the uh, obviously new year. I'm going to have to redo a bunch of my databases out here. There seems to be a corruption inside of the uh, database I'm using for a ninja trader right now. So I have to just kind of reset things as I pull up the instrument. But as we take a look at DocuSign, we like it. We like it on a daily basis out here, SNP. That's because price above the top of its profile and its green oscillator and change line. That suggests that it wants to go make a move. Its move would take you up to the TD9 count breakdown level 6275. That's on ticker symbol DOCU. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Chart allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we were taking a look at DocuSign before we went to that breakout there. I just want to uh, – uh, so there is reason – I mentioned 62.75, the TD9 count breakdown area, which is its target. This does have a sell the D point pattern. Uh, the resistance level is going to be the high out here from December 14th, and that's at the 61.60 level. Uh, you've also got resistance at 67.35 and 59.78. That's coming off of the weekly time frame charts out there. You've got a nice – Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, wave number seven bottom on the uh, weekly time frame chart, price on the monthly pulling back to its breakout level of support of 45.52. So that's certainly an area to watch, but it does look like DocuSign, even though it's pulling back just a little bit this morning, does want to make a run 
for at least that uh, December 14th area or that TD9 count breakdown resistance level. So S&P, uh, thanks for the request. Thanks for all the requests this year. Happy New Year to you and your family. Hector writes in, and Hector wants to take a look at uh, Exxon Mobil. So uh, let's uh, give me a moment here to get over, get this here all straightened out. Marcus in red. And Hector's question goes like this. Happy, fantastic, fabulous Friday. Well, thank you. Same to you. Exxon Mobil, your favorite stock for 2022. Uh, please provide the oscillator and change line resistance and support on the daily and weekly timeframes and especially the monthly. And next year be you and yours best ever. Well, thank you, Hector and Patty. And I wish the same for you and your uh, family out there. So let's uh, get to the Exxon Mobil charts. Let me... Uh, re-establish the uh, database out here and so we take a look at Exxon Mobil you're asking first for support areas on a monthly time frame you said especially the monthly so the monthly time frame what we have out here is a negated TD9 count top and that was negated in the month of October you do have a wave number seven top and that is going to be in place so price could pull back and test its oscillator and change line. That was an area you were asking about. That's at 94.73. 92.95 is the top of that monthly profile. So those are your two support levels. On the weekly time frame, the weekly time frame, you've got resistance up at 111.09. That's the uh, weekly oscillator and change line. Your support area is down at 101.37, the top of the weekly profile. If we look at the daily time frame. ExxonMobil has support at... Um, Yeah, support at so looking for a pattern yeah so what exxon mobile did was it completed a gartley buy pattern it did it when this uh, bull sash candle formed that was on uh, the day of october the 12th your support level is truly inside of on a daily time frame for exxon mobile is going to be 10330 now there's other support levels on the way down one is going to be at the 10819 area that's the bottom of his profile and at 108.17, Hector and Patty, you've got the green daily asset and change line for the daily time frame. As long as price remains above that, you've got a battle up at 110.13 on a move higher than 112.07. So those are your areas of support and resistance. The 30-minute uh, time frame for ExxonMobil did close out the day yesterday with a TD9 count. I know this is ultra short-term out there. Uh, and if we take a look at where ExxonMobil is trading in the pre-market out here, Exxon Mobil last trade fired off at well Stevie's got a data feed issue there that's interesting what the Sam heck I can't tell you where uh, price just uh, traded inside of Exxon Mobil and that's a bummer that's a real bummer so uh, but what I can share with you there we go 108.51 so 108.51 uh, takes us back in. So you had a TD9 count top that took place at 2:30 yesterday afternoon. Price closed out the day below the oscillator and change line. Said the first downside target was 108.95. It is below that right now. Next downside target would have been 108.45. 108.51 is what price just traded out at. Your key level of support out here on an intraday time period is going to be 107.99. That's its 30-minute TD9 count breakout support level. So Hector and Patty, Happy New Year again to you and your family. And uh, thanks so much for the, all the requests and uh, uh, contact during 2022. We'll look forward to that in 2023. Next question coming from Nicholas A. Nicholas writes in, uh, good morning, Steve. No request, just to wish you and your family a happy and healthy New Year. Well, thank you very much, Nicholas. Now, I know Nicholas is uh, loves it. If he, if he were going to ask for a request, he probably would have said, hey, Stevie, show me the SMHs out there. So I'm just guessing here. I'm just spitballing. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the SMH charts out here. Again, let me just update this, make sure I've got my historical data properly uh, configured. And we've got a nice TD9 count bottom for the SMHs now. I was going to say, I'll tell you what it's trading at, but uh, based on that last data feed issue, 200.06. Okay, so 200.06 is still above the TD9 count bottom. The key level here for you to watch today, Nicholas, inside the SMH is going to be the low from yesterday, uh, two days ago. The low from two days ago is bar number nine of that TD9 count. That's at 196.54. We're trading at 200 uh, and change right now in the pre-market. What price should do, because that oscillator and change line changed colors yesterday, price should target that level. That level in the 208.86, 209.91 area. Um, nice TD9 count bottom on the monthly. Nice TD9 count bottom on the weekly charts out here. And now you've got 
that nice TD9 count bottom pattern on the uh, daily time frame. Geez, what's the 30-minute chart showing us? Now, that I don't know. Let's go find out here. Um, not showing us much of anything at all. Other than 199.74 is your breakout level of support. And maybe that's an area that's going to be tested on the open this morning. So that's the SMHs. Even though you didn't ask about it, Nicholas, I know somewhere in the back of your mind you were wondering, hey, Stevie, what's going on with this semiconductor index? So there you go. And thanks so much for your wishes for a happy new year and the same to you and your family. We've got Brent in Martinez, California. Brent writes in. And he would like to say good morning and a fantastic Friday to you. Oh, perfect. Well, fantastic Friday back at you. Do you see any bottoming patterns on the short-term time frame equity future contracts? Thanks for your help and have a great new year. You too as well, Brent. Always good to speak to you. What's great about Brent is he'll call while he's walking the trails. He's in California. He's up in the uh, San Francisco area. And uh, so, you know, and he's listening at 536 in the morning, probably working out. So you're asking about short term signals here. I've got the ES mini charts that we'll put up on our screen. We took a look at the NQ and I don't recall anything popping out at me other than a 10 or 15 minute time frames inside the NQ for potential little bottoming signal. As we take a look at the ES mini charts out here at 836 in the morning, Brent, we can see you've got a TD9 cal bottom on the 10 minute. TD9 cal bottom appears will form here on the 15 minute. That will still needs about eight minutes out there, but it looks like it. Uh, also might generate a road momentum indicator bottom. Those are the two short term time frames right now. The two hour chart on the ES mini is in bar number eight right now, but that's gonna close at 10 o'clock it says you wouldn't really have a bottoming pattern until noon there. Um, you've got that new, well, we don't have a new profile in the ES. That was in the NQ. So answer your question, the only short-term time frame charts that I see in the ES and the NQ out here are on those 10 and 15 minute time frames. And they know that could easily be short-lived. But let me share you with you at least where the battles are to the upside there. And we'll use the... Um, we use the 10 minute chart right now. So 10 minutes got a TD9 count bottom. What price should do is go target its oscillator and change line. And we're just simply gonna expand out the chart here, make that a bit easier. So as we really navigate, very short term chart out here. Um, price should target its oscillator and change line, 38.49. If price can overcome that, so a red oscillator and change line, folks, tells us the price oscillator is below zero. That's a bearish condition. When price is below a red line, says we have a falling price oscillator below zero. That's a real bearish condition. That can be overcome by closing above that 38.49 level. And if that happens, then the next battle to the upside is going to be 38.53. You've got your secondary. They're sitting at the 38.57 level. And if price gets past those, goes by, by, past those folks, you've got your safeties. And they're sitting at 38.60. That's the 10-minute chart for the ES Mini. Those are the battles to the upside. Of course, if you close below this level, this level on a 10-minute time frame, would be 38.43.50. That suggests lower price. So, Brett, not the type of intraday signals I think you're looking for. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. You got Dow Equity Futures off 146, uh, NASDAQ down 116, S&P's off 26, Russell is down 14 points, U.S. dollar index is um, up uh, 14 pennies, uh, gold is uh, flat, silver is flat out there. We take a look at uh, soy meal. Soy meal is not flat. It's up 2.5%. Uh, basically, as we speak, it's trading out right now at 469.50. On a daily time frame, what soy meal is trying to do is negate a TD9 count top. Let's pull this back. This is for in the Tiger's Den, San L. And San L says, hi, Steve, can you please take a look at ZM, lower downside risk. So lower downside risk. Right now, if I take a look at the daily time frame, price is about to or is trying to take out its TD9 count top. A close today about 460. Even Steven, right now at 469 and change, negates that signal, would also be a close above the top of its daily profile, and that would tell us that soy meal is getting ready to head higher. Definitely head higher out there. If I take a look at the five-hour time frame chart, no topping signal, none on the four-hour, none on the 120, none on the 60-minute, none on the 30-minute. Uh, you negated your 15-minute TD9 count top out there, or you're in the process of doing that. Uh, no topping pattern, per se, on the 10-minute chart out here. So soy meal looks like this is getting ready to take off uh, top side. Well, it's already done that, but getting ready to, uh, you know, you see the end-of-day action out there. But, uh, Shan, so I can't also pick a few ZM picked up few ZM. Okay, so I think you're long soy meal. I would stay long soy meal out here. Um, now, at day's end, all right, if price is unable to take out that TD9 count top, and again, that's at 460, 469.30. I, I might have given you the wrong price before. I think I'm at 460. Even, 469.30, 469.50. If price does not close above that level out there, well, you will at least know that a key area of resistance has held. If you can't bust them up, What's price try to do? Bust them to the downside. So downside-wise, you're looking at 461.80 as a level of support. You're looking at 458.10. You're looking at 441.30, and if price were to close below that, then that would signal move back to 406.20. But as we speak, we look at those intraday charts out here, it does look like uh, this should continue to move higher. So I hope that helps you out. San L, thanks so much for the request out there. Um, the discussion about the U.S. dollar index out here. So what I thought I would do is just simply go take a look at the uh, euro. Uh, for that, I don't have to change my data feed. So let's pull up the euro charts. And the euro represents 57%, uh, 57.6, something along those lines of the U.S. dollar index. So in order to get, oh, you meant Zoom. Well, saying out, I'd, 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 go with the, I'd go with soy meal, don't you think? 
I'll do Zoom for you. So you'll get a twofer. But uh, back to the U.S. dollar index out there. If we take a look at the uh, euro out here and take a look at the weekly time frame. Remember, I mentioned on the uh, weekly time frame for the U.S. dollar, that is a TD9 count top. Exactly opposite, mirror image. Uh, opposite image of the uh, euro. The euro forming that the week of December 16th. Now, the euro would need to close above 1.0736 in order to negate that signal and suggest a move up to the 117 area. I think this is the extent of the counter trend move inside of the euro. And what we're looking at is we're looking at a euro that's getting ready to head south uh, in 2023. And that will put a ton of energy into that U.S. dollar index out here. If I take a look at a monthly time frame chart here for the euro, we can see that price broke through a trend line. That's a little rising trend line out there. We can see additional trend lines, descending trend lines, where price found some resistance at its secondary uh, descending trend line out there. This, again, is the monthly time frame chart. I don't have any kind of a bottoming signal here. All we've had is a nice counter trend move. This counter trend move has uh, lasted for three months. Remember, when we take a look at knee jerk reactions, they typically occur in two to three bar areas out there. Can we show that with regard to the euro? So that's interesting. We might be able to. So let me do this here. So uh, is there anything else for me to show you on the euro chart? Daily time frame also has a sell the D point pattern that took place on December the 15th out there. So uh, my call with regard to the charts, what they are communicating to us is that the uh, counter trend rally inside the euro is likely over and it's getting ready to turn back down. And when that happens, we will see the U.S. dollar index uh, smoke to the upside out there. And that is what's going to put a ton of pressure, certainly on those emerging markets and many other instruments. Uh, I mentioned um, taking a look at the uh, euro and what was I going to do? The longer term time frames? No, what was I? Geez, I had a total brain fart out there. I know I said something and I know I was going to do something. And uh, now I can't remember what that was. Well, so I guess that means we're going to go back and take a look at Zoom. If uh, if somebody if somebody can remind me what I was saying, that'd be great. But if not, uh, well, then I guess it didn't really mean a whole lot. But let's go take a look at ZM out here. That was the correct symbol that uh, was being asked about. And so let's go take a look at uh, Zoom, ZM. Why is this? Is it ZM? Because I'm not getting anything here in my charts unless there's some issue. Uh, I'm sure it is just ZM, but yeah. Wow. So what do we have going on here at 8.48 in the morning? Not good. Okay, now we've got it. So in the case of Zoom, <clears throat> and thank you for your patience, San L, you've got a nice TD9 count bottom on the daily time frame. You like yesterday's action because yesterday was a close above that red oscillator and change line. Where is Zoom printing out at this morning? At least as of 8.48, 67 and a quarter. So it still held that red oscillator and change line. Your next battle to the upside is going to be at 70.16. That is the bottom of its daily profile. That's old support that could be resistance. It is active resistance as long as price has been below that level. So watch that area. If price is able to overcome that, then it should make a move up to 72.31. 72.31 happens to be the resistance level established by that TD9 count bottom. On a weekly time frame, we do not have a bottom signal yet. It needs a further rally. If we get a further rally today, you could get a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. You do have Zoom pulling back to its uh, monthly breakout area of 65.81. You are going to get bar number eight of a TD9 count uh, at today's close. You still need bar number nine to close uh, or form out there. In order for that to occur in the month of January, price would have to close. This is Zoom on a monthly basis. Price would have to close below 73.59. Um, so, you know, that may not happen out there. But it looks like you've got a bit of a counter trend move. Let me take a look at a 30-minute time frame chart, see if there's anything that can assist us with regard to what its intent is this morning. So, again, you're trading at a 67 and a quarter. Back below its green oscillator and change line, price has significant resistance at 68.58. That's a TD9 count breakdown resistance level here on a 30-minute time frame. So, San L, if price can close above 68.58, that's going to suggest a further rally, and that would get you the 70.16 battle, and above that, again, 72.31. So, thanks for your twofer. Uh, I'm sure somebody out there was interested in what soy meal was doing this morning. And so we took care of both of them. Um... Any other requests? No, nothing that I see inside the uh, 
LinkedIn. Let's just check by email. Okay, somebody wrote in before the end of the year. What's everybody doing to celebrate? Does everybody like going out on New Year's Eve, go to big parties, all that type of stuff? Stevie kind of likes the quiet version of New Year's Eve. And that means an early dinner. Of course, you got good football out there, right? You got that uh, 4 o'clock game at the Michigan TCU game, right? Then we've got the uh, Georgia-Ohio State game at 8 o'clock. That sounds like a pretty good New Year's Eve to Stevie. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv was that the batman music or surfing music i know it's not part of the uh, typical no, it's not part of the typical uh, 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 show music, but that's okay. So we've got the Dow futures off 145, S&P's down uh, 25, NASDAQ's off 113, E-mini Russell's 14. That brain fart that I had, I remembered during the break out there, I was going to go take a look at the euro on a monthly basis. I was talking about the typical two, three bar knee-jerk reactions out here. This is the monthly chart. You can see we are in bar number three right now. If we take a look at the last couple of rallies out there, we had a, a two bar, another two bar. We did get a, a four bar rally out there, then a three bar taking us back into July of 20. Now, this is a monthly chart that we're taking a look at, folks, out here. So as we take a look at this, um, you know, this three bar rally was July, February of 2018 out there. So the typical rallies have been three, uh, two, three and four bars out here. Those are consecutive closes on a monthly time frame. And so this adds to the idea that the uh, euro is likely forming a significant top out there. Could be that we get that fourth month rally, that would be uh, January, 
and then that would likely end it. Now, if we're going to get that, we'll see the U.S. dollar index fail, close below its uh, TD9 count bottom pattern uh, that was out there. Lastly, to finish off the show here, I'm going to go back to the NQ. Remember, we were talking about the uh, signals that we saw on the shorter-term time frame charts out there. It was really the 10- and the 15-minute chart. The 30-minute chart now shows that it could be forming a bullish reversal candle. So you've got five minutes. Right now, you've got a bullish piercing candle. If that's the case, Brent, then on a 30-minute time frame, you have a confirmed, its second confirmed Gartley buy pattern. Uh, but you've got to wait for another four minutes to see if we, in fact, get that bullish reversal candle. But if you did, then you've got a 30-minute and a 15-minute and a 10-minute bottom signal out there. Real quickly, can I change over and go to all the 30-minute charts out here for the equity future contract, see if they are all doing the same thing? The same thing would be, yeah, I've got to... Uh, Again, I've got this data issue. But the NQ, I see a, uh, a bullish piercing candle as well. The ES Mini, we need to recharge that. The Dow, we need to recharge this. The Russell 2000, we need to recharge it. So the ES Mini is 30-minute chart, may be forming a buy the D point, a Gartley buy pattern. The NQ, the same pattern out there, but we don't have that same pattern inside the Dow Equity Future contract. So a little bit suspect. Folks, have a fantastic uh, weekend. Have a happy and safe New Year, healthy New Year. We'll look forward to seeing you on Tuesday next week. Take care and stay tuned for great programming. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure.